today, Ricky and I are doing something super rad. As you know, we become friends with tons of the vendors at the swap meet, and today, we're gonna go pick through one of their personal collections, games, toys, and everything nostalgic. Let's go. Ricky, this is what we love to see. It's been a long time since a good dig. What you got there, Ricky? Got a Nomad, some DS's, Ooh, Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance. Ooh, let me see that. Yo, are you serious right now? Ricky, scroll through these real quick. Yeah, those are heavies. Panic Restaurant right there, dude. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, only 10 bucks, yeah, what I'll take it. beautiful <laughs> game. Look at that, two different cover art variants. That's by far the better cover art, but man, awesome game by Taito. Beautiful graphics. I've beaten this game more than once. Ooh, a Game Boy. I'm curious on that guy right there. This is the part where filming is the stinky part. <laughs> where I'm stuck with one arm. Uh-oh, Ricky. What 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 just got pulled out? Dude, this this Nintendo World Class. It's 1992. The, it's oh the, my gosh. It's the, the service repair kit. service kit. And look at the colors on it, Ricky. This thing is as beautiful as it gets. Good grief, Matilda. That's dope. Look at this. Do the turbo graphics stick. stick straight up, bro. Ooh, I'm interested in this guy right here. This is the ultimate display right here. But let's see the question. Does it have, I like that it says push and I'm clearly pulling it. Ooh, it's got some stuff in it. Ooh, a lot of instruction manuals in here. <gasps> the color one. Ooh, I saw, we both saw the Kirby's and the Metroid one. Oh my gosh, Super RC Pro Am in here. How much is this Game Boy box? Yeah. I like it's how we box. both just together. I mean, so, the box, cool. you could get it in a plastic protector and this would look beautiful. Sega Game Gear box and a protector? Let's go, okay, you got Wii U. Some got Ooh, GameCube, GameCube, GameCube and I a mean, GameCube, GameCube right here. I know, we both said it. Oh, oh look at this. The clear, oh. yep. You know what this is, right? Yep. This the is from the play, one? this is from Play It Loud. Play It Loud? Yep, these are the Play It Loud Game Boys right here. They came in a different type of case than the original ones did. They came in like a big clear see-through case. I like that. Yeah, they're sick. Oh, you know what? I rarely see. I only see those at conventions. That's true. Yeah. Or online. Oh, dude, look at this one. Oh, baby. Green machine. Oh, she turns on. Really? Wow. Okay. Oh, shoot. There's going to be a lot of digging going on here. Oh, boy. This is going to get wild. The, the Bible. Bible. Wow. We did that at the same time. Sweet. Matthew. 2117. So we're immediately realizing how overwhelming this is with so much stuff, but check what Ricky just grabbed. Oh my God, it's so pretty. So these are empty boxes, but look how clean they are. What in the world? How were they that clean? They were just sitting in that pile underneath everything and they were still that mint. Ricky, they have a uh, Obama toilet paper. <laughs> But I'm working my way back, trying not to break anything, but look at this bunch of skateboards back here. Looking at a big box of Godzilla stuff in here. So you might want to peek over in this box, Ricky. There's a good amount of stuff in here. Oh, there's a Let's see. A there's a, a Venom in here, a giant Venom. Look at that guy. Jeez. Wow. This is all very cool and very big items. Oh, wait, it's Napoleon Dynamite, right? Yeah, I thought it was like Bill Clinton or Napoleon <laughs> Dynamite, but I think it's Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> Found this vintage, more vintage Green Goblin shirt into the pile. But first, a word from our sponsor. That, that's me, I'm, I'm, I'm sponsoring my video. After 10 years of doing YouTube videos and doing them in all different shapes and form, all different things around nostalgia, I am finally hiring an editor. If you saw weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I put out a video saying I needed a break bad. That wasn't a lie. Coming in clutch after I posted that video was my friend Jared over at Retro Gaming Pandemic. And he was like, Riff, I want to help out. How can I do this? And I was like, well, I can hire you as an editor. I don't make much. I've never made much on YouTube as far as anything going with my retro gaming stuff, my nostalgic stuff. But hey, I want to pay you for your services. Let's do it. I want to do it. And I don't want to only depend on sponsors. And no, we're not going to only depend on you guys either. But the option is out there. Yes, I can sponsor my own video. I created a 
you patreon.com slash riff pixel patreon i know we've had them before in the past on the older channels and they just kind of lie dormant and we appreciate anyone who helped out and treated it as a virtual tip jar this is no pressure to anyone in any way but that option is there if you want to help us not strictly rely on sponsors to make sure that jared is getting paid for his services also we want you guys to help us out with things you know perks of patreon i don't like to sell people because i'm not here to sell you it's just there it's uh we're gonna offer like things like hey you want to help me pick thumbnails that would be awesome help us on the creative process also get your name on some videos some simple patreon ways to lure people and i'm not about that i'm not here to sell you guys anything make you feel like you have to do anything i'm letting you know it's there and it would mean the world it would definitely help us take some ease off the pressure of hoping the video gets good views so i can pay jared good or making sure that a sponsor comes through so i can pay him right i want to do right by people that are helping me keeping this channel going after 10 years oh my gosh we're like a month away from 10 years of doing this so thank you no more your time wasted please check it out in the link if you want to help and hang out with us let's chat over there if you want to do it if not no pressure get back to having fun yeah. bunch of books down here oh this is so That's cool like like invasion of the b girls wow <laughs> TNC Surfers is a great one. I'm gonna pick that up. And I'll pick up this. Cause the box is nice. What is that, Ricky? What'd you just pull out? First four figure. Mario wow. 3D Land. It's that is massive, man. dude. What's cool about what Ricky just pulled out, it has the original box, which just makes it so much cooler in my opinion. What, what'd you pull out, Ricky? Oh, Thriller. that is sick of you, master. <laughs> Michael Jackson one, bro. You copping that? You're maybe. Get it? Okay, so we got some laser disc over here. Oh, but they're all pretty much, wow, it's like the whole series of Street Fighter 1. That's super rad, Ricky. I've been trying to get to this pile because I see some random clothes. It's clothes, I saw a single stitch shirt hanging out. It was nothing that I needed, but back here, gotta get to them. I meant to grab these earlier. Really clean, man. These This Mewtwo Returns is super clean. So is this Digimon movie. I wanna grab those. So this is a, a, a brief look at my pile so far. I mean, you can see everything in here. Kind of, I wanna give you guys a quick glance. Just going through Mario Party 8, Crash, Final Fantasy, great music collection, sealed Capcom classics, this, this, this. Oh my God, look at that's just a pile of Spyro. It's a Spyro world after all. That's not how the song goes after all. Stuff and stuff over there. I'm gonna go broke. Haven't you done enough already? We're, we're, we're making our way downtown, walking back. Pace is passing, I'm homebound. Here we go. This is old though. I mean, these are old. Oh, it's a Disney. Well, why not? Who knows? So it's nothing crazy, but it looks like they're all kind of Disney-ish related. What's that one, Ricky? Oh, let's see it. This is cool. Ooh, Batman. old detective comics. That's sicky, sick. Look at that art. Look at that colors. It's so beautiful. Like you, Ricky. Beautiful boy. So I'm sweating up a storm, but just grabbing like some vintage, like Disneyland type clothes. And of course I accidentally put a whole bunch of it back like an idiot, but there's more over here. So I'm looking, I'm digging. I'll show you guys I'm later. I'll show you them later, but you can get the gist of it. The, oh, the sweat is hitting. What do we got, Ricky? What are you going to show me? Oh, oh my gosh, that is so sick. I mean, you can get that stain out. I mean, it's a big old stain, but it's super sick. Look at the back. <laughs> Ace Ventura when nature called. It doesn't get much cooler than that. Oh, that dude. Is, that is, Ricky, give me one one line from uh, Ace Ventura, bro. Come on, anything. Bumblebee tuna. Nice. I was gonna go with <laughs> Chicago. Chicago. Another case just opening up. Ooh, the manual for it. This is so sick looking. I've never even played this version of it, but it just looks so cool. Ooh. All right, so what we're doing now, we kind of had to take a break. I'm kind of adding up like where, just so you know, I'm already past $500, where I'm at, of what it sells for. That's how we're doing it. He's gonna let us look it up on eBay, hit sold prices, find the average, and it'll give us, you know, an according discount from there or whatever it may be. So that's the update. I'm getting a headache, Ricky. <laughs> Ricky, you find uh, some amiibos over here? Some amiibos. What do you got? What do you got? Let's see. So, dude, we got Castlevania, we got Simon. Ooh, you found a Belmont? Yep. Oh, so Ooh, Metal Gear. Snake. snake. Dude, we got the Wooly Yoshi, bro. Ooh, look at all this. Come on, dog. Ricky's gonna ask right now how much for all of them. I'll take this guy. I'll take this guy right here. This is one of the next boxes we pulled out. Just gonna grab a few items from it. Just grabbed a couple more handhelds that look really clean. And what's this? The Handy Boy. 
I gotta check this out. You guys don't get to see how long we've been here, but we we're just showing you glimpsing through every like 20, 30 minutes. Now I'm just kind of putting away everything I got into a box and we'll uh, we'll probably lightly show you guys what we got. We can't go through each thing one by one, but you're getting a general consensus of what I'm buying and Ricky's all this stuff right here. Ricky, cool, the coolest things ever you? Probably the Nomad and the Turbo Graphics down there, bro. With the Turbo Stick? Turbo Sticks are turbo super sticks. sick. It's a little, little beat up. Little beat up. The wire, the wire has duct tape, but uh, you know. But I think it's, I think it'll still work. But you know, Tim the, Tim the Toolman Taylor would use duct tape. Oh, oh. No. Ladies and gentlemen, it has happened. Well, besides buying a ton of stuff, Ricky officially you know got the big banger Nintendo World Class Service Kit. I mean, this is <laughs> honestly like in, in signs, this is top tier. Not only because it's Nintendo, but of the artwork is, it's that perfect generation of Mario art. It's like the way they were branding stuff when Mario Two was out. Look at that, you got like an old, old uh, sticker there from pricing it it's this is the king ricky you did it bro congratulations i made it oh and i am getting the peewee one but i'm getting it next time from you so you're gonna hold the peewee one for me Yes, okay, we're good on that one. There's no way in heck I'm going through every single thing I bought with everybody, but you guys got like a general idea earlier. I am just gonna mildly talk as I show stuff. There's no way, but just so much cool stuff. We love the fact that we can look at video games, but not only video games, but stuff like this that's super weird. So super cool, super fun, had a great time as well. And uh, man, this is what dreams are made of, Ricky. Who would've knew? Who would've knew this would be our life? How do you feel now, Ricky? feel accomplished. You feel good? I mean, I feel good until I see Nicole and she's like, what? <laughs> <laughs>